Hello beauties. A lot of you guys have been asking about this card and I told you I was going to show you how and here it is. So I'm going to show you how to do this chalkboard technique and I'm just going to put this off to the side. I've got here a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock and I've got my Your Amazing stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and take that and Versa mark the entire stamp. Get that well inked and then I'm going to set that right on there. Normally I do my embossing buddy to get rid of any flakes, but at this point I don't need to get rid of flakes, but I am going to use the embossing buddy a little bit later. So I've gone ahead and stamped that in the Versamark, and now I'm going to take and put some Stampin' Emboss Powder on here in white, and get that all good. And then I flick off any extra. Now I'm going to get my heat embossing tool and heat that up. And you'll start to see the powder start to turn into a liquid form and all meld together. So I'm just making sure that all of this gets melted. And that it's all come together. It's so cool to watch it melt together. Okay. If you don't melt it all together and wait for it all, then you will get something like this. <laughs> so we're trying it again here. Now what I want to do now is add some decorative edges. And so I've got my stamp set from the Daydream Medallions. And then I've got my stays on in uh, cotton white. And it is opaque. So this normally comes dry when you get it from Stampin' Up! And what they do is they give you the inker or the re-inker. And when I'm doing chalkboard, I just put it on very lightly so it's not going to show up bright. So I'm just going to eyeball this, but if you want it to be perfect, you could use the stampin' jig So I'm just putting some on here and stamping it in the corner here. And then I'm going to do the same on all four sides. Okay. And remember I told you I was going to use my embossing buddy, but I don't I didn't use it, it before. I stamped because it didn't make a difference if I had little speckles everywhere because chalk does that. But inside this embossing buddy um, has a little white powder and all you have to do is rub it over here and if you want it a little bit darker you just and there you go. That gives you the chalkboard feel. I put a cut I put some brads in here used some dimensional dots, raised it up a little bit, and put it on crumb cake cardstock and came up with this card. Alright beauties, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to order any of the products that I've showcased here, uh, you can do so at www.jeanpiersanti.stampinup.net or view more at beautyandthestamper.blogspot.com. Thank you and have a great day.